Dr. Dan Tomlinson joins us now to answer some of your medical questions. Thanks for being here, Dr. It's Dan. It's great to be here, you bet. All right, we're talking about aspirin tonight. A new study shows taking okay. low doses of aspirin uh, may protect some women, or excuse me, may protect women from certain types sure. of cancer. So why do you think that is? Well, you know, this study, it, was, it was, came out of Harvard, so it's a good study. And the thought is that, well, it's really, it's an epidemiologic study, so I can't really say why it is. It's just when you look at, it was 40,000 women they looked at, and they saw 20% lowering of, of uh, colon cancer is what the cancer was. Now, you know, I got to say a little bit about epidemiologic studies because doctors don't totally buy it. We in the media love it because we see these associations, but it could be that there's some bias involved. It might be that people who take aspirin also do fiber more in their diet, and that's associated with lowering colon cancer. So. Yeah, it may be a little bit suspect. So I like the word may decrease colon cancer. So aspirin is a good thing to do. We, we know that it decreases strokes and heart attacks in men and women. Again, that might be a, another association because of lifestyle things too. But it's, it's probably a fine thing to do, but I'm not going to go to, uh, up here and say for sure it's a great thing to do for colon cancer. And any risks associated with well, taking yeah. aspirin? Aspirin is a blood thinner, and so if you have um, bleeding ulcers, for instance, or the, the recommendation was to take it every other day, that's really not a super high dose, but mainly bleeding episodes. So if you get in an accident and you're on high doses of aspirin or if you have a stomach problem. Well, we have another research question. Some health researchers <laughs> have recently really. found working into your later years <laughs> helps to fight Alzheimer's. What causes that disease? and what are some of the signs that you may be developing Alzheimer's? Okay, well here we go again with uh, this association of working late and Alzheimer's. Now Alzheimer's is caused by amyloid deposits in the brain, it's genetic. So here's this idea of working late and not getting Alzheimer's. It's not jiving totally again if you guys are kind of getting what I'm saying. But And Alzheimer's is a subset of dementia. So. I thought, well, okay, I'm going to check out the Mayo website, and they said that there really isn't a cure for Alzheimer's, but that people who do heart-healthy things have lower Alzheimer's. So maybe there's an association there, because dementia is certainly a brain and a vascular thing. And so, the, so my point is, I can't really answer that either on why working late would lower Alzheimer's. All right, Dr. But Dan. But it's probably not a bad thing to do. Okay, thanks for being here tonight. And Dr. Dan joins us each Monday to answer your medical questions. If you have a question, you can write or email him at the addresses on your screen. You may also post the question on our News 10 Facebook page. We'll be right back with more News 10 at 5.